Hello, uh, in this video I am going to show you how to use Python to extract data from a ROS bag file. For this I am using ROS Melodic, that is ROS 1 uh, Melodic version. And I have a Python 3 installed in a virtual environment and I am going to install a back, back by package that is required for extracting uh, ROS bag, uh, extracting data from back file. So let's install. Uh, Okay, so installed. Now I have uh, Anaconda running in this virtual environment in the Jupyter Notebook. So let's open a new notebook and let's give it a name uh, back by tutorial. Okay, and what first thing I will do is that import back by then uh, uh, from back by import back reader. So this is the back reader class that will give you um, facility to extract data from the back file. This message will appear uh, because of missing some SO file, uh, but don't worry about it. If you're using Python 2, then this will not give you an error if you be um, warning message. But if you're going to use Python 3, then this will give you a warning message. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, read a read so bag reader um, and then I need to have a data file so this is the one that I'm copying this is the data file that I need that I'm using for demonstration so let's read okay so the data was extracted and the folder of the same name will be created um, if the folder is all folder already exists then it will not be created now let's see uh, what are the topics available so b dot topic table yes so this will give you the, um, the topic star by types and then the message count and the frequency now uh, there are two ways i can extract data the first way is a known messages types like say for example velocity range laser data images etc so let's see i have a well equal well messages equal to b dot well data okay so what is going to do is that it is going to extract all the um, velocity types that is geometry messages slash twist and then it will save in a csv file and then the well messages will be a list of the csv files where the data was extracted and then you can use any pandas uh, or the csv reader to read this so how I am going to do is uh, well df equal to let's import pandas library first import pandas as pd then um, I'm going to use well df equal to pd dot uh, read csv and then I'm going to ex read the first csv file this corresponds to the cat bickle slash cmd dash well range okay so you don't need to know but it's still okay so now it read let's see so it has time linear x y z x y z so this is all a type of the geometry messages slash twist and in this package i am considering that the message type has of the velocity is of the geometry messages slash twist okay so now if you want to uh, plot it then you can use uh, plot so you can use uh, matplotlib so import import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and plt dot plot well df time and okay so this is my plot you can configure the plotting uh, features like say for example plt dot rc params uh, you can see what are the parameters are here so uh, let's say figure size so figure dot size probably this is this okay so equal to 
16, 15, and 6. Okay, and then so let's put it on the previous cell. Okay, so now you have a bigger plot. Yeah, similarly, you can explore what are the parameters available, then you can customize your figure. I can also give x and y axis level, so but you can do it. So, this is so far. Uh, if you know a uh, topic type, then also you extra and extract the message. So for that, I will be using a uh, new message equal to b dot message by type, and then you can see that the class type. Uh, and um, so you can see that this takes a topic of type and the topic from which message from which to extract the message. So let's see the tab topic table. Look at that. Let's see. I want message of type laser points. Okay. So for that, I will write topic equal to. Okay. So the new message is here. Okay. So it will be in the list format. So the list of single message up to that, and then comma and the list. If you want to see one message, and then this is a one message sometimes you may don't know you may find out that you don't know the message type in this case you can dot and then you can um, uh, you can you can first say like the slots and then this will give you what are the components of this message available and you can also give the slot types so what are the message types of the different components available and the, so each uh, complex message types are composed of a primitive message types so after this complex message types will tell you um, that what are the primitive message types are available inside the complex message type to help you decoding it and if you want to know the message type of this topic then you can look, go and look at the topic table so in this case the cat vehicle laser front points has a message type sensor messages laser scan okay um, if you want to know the message or type of this topic itself then you can just type uh, type and then it will give you the, uh, this is the type and if you want to know how many messages are you got then you can just type len and message yeah so that's it uh, sometimes you want to animate your time series message so you can do this by b dot animate um, sorry um, bag by dot animate time series and then the first message first will be so you can say first time and then message so I will have um, well so well df well df time and then well dear linear dot x and then you can all, all, all optionally you can provide a title title equal to velocity time series okay and so it will as you will see that it will start animating you can also run it outside of the Jupyter notebook and uh, you will see much uh, better behavior uh, in the real time uh, if you call this function inside a Jupyter notebook rather than in terminal then you will not be able to see a real time animation so that's the only difference you have when you are executing this uh, backpy dot animate time series inside the Jupyter or in the terminal okay so I think this is helpful in uh, extracting any message from a ROS bag uh, or a dot bag file uh, if you have any question then put in the comments below um, okay, uh, thank you.